Alan G. Dickinson, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to have you on the show. Oh, it's great to be here, too, Bob. But before I forget, this is for you. Ooh. I love those kind of interruptions. What, what's that for? That's just my way of saying congratulations on your starting your 35th year on television. Well, I appreciate that, Angie. But don't I get one for each year? <laughs> We'd be here all night. <laughs> it's okay. I'll put in a wake-up call. <laughs> Tell me, Bob, when you first appeared on television 35 years ago, did you ever dream that you'd be on this long? Are you kidding? I didn't think TV would last this long. <laughs> but I have to tell you, Angie, I've been so lucky all these years getting to work with gorgeous and talented gals like you. Oh, thanks, Bob. I feel the same about you. We have had lots of laughs, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, lots of laughs. And don't forget all those love scenes we've done together. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> Ouch. When it comes to follow-ups, what happened behind the scenes with you? I bet you had your share of them in Policewoman, huh? Oh, plenty. You know, with all those last-minute script changes, it was easy to get confused. I'll never forget the time I goofed a couple of lines and ended up arresting Earl Holloman. <laughs> your partner? That's awful. What'd you do? Oh, what else could I do? I went out and hired him a good lawyer. <laughs> of course, that's not true. I just said that to get a laugh. <laughs> Keep it up. So far, you're ahead of me. <laughs> Another time, we were out shooting on the streets of Burbank, and then we used to get a lot of audience, a lot of spectators would watch us shoot. And I had the gun in my purse, as usual, and I always used to put things in my purse to make it look very legitimate, not just a hollow purse with just the, the uh, gun in it. So I jumped out of the squad car, got in my squat, and pulled out the gun, and there was a torn Kleenex hanging out of the end of the barrel. <laughs> And I was really embarrassed. What was it, a blowgun, huh? <laughs> What'd you say, freeze or I'll sneeze? Uh, oh, very good. I should have. Angie, those were great, but we have some delightful scenes of embarrassing moments with some buddies of mine. You want to stay and watch them? Oh, I'd love to. In fact, you may even know the lady in this first scene. She gets a little frisky with me. Hey, I can't stay too long. I just came to collect the reward. Okay, creep. Up against the wall. What? Hands behind your back. Yeah. Spread your feet. Yeah. One false move and you'll match the rest of your nose. <laughs> You're clean. Yeah. You better try it again, huh? 